Hey, we're going live here at Western Tech Community College, and this is just too dang funny. We've got an interesting project here with uh, one of our students. We said earlier we promised we'd come back on. We got our uh, 250 <laughs> Chinese choppa, <laughs> whatever, and uh, check out our unique four carb apparatus on here. How come we did this? Because the carburetor that it, it was on it wasn't working right no matter we tried some jets we tried to change the air fuel mixture we tried mess with the throttle and it just wouldn't work how many hours i would say we had a good six in it yeah you had like a hundred i think i don't think that's... no i'm pretty sure this thing has been worked on like crazy this has been a lot of months and here's the thing it gets to the point that your instructor said what we got to find out if it works at all right we're getting sick of messing with this this carburetor here we could not get this to work. We were just tired of messing with this. It didn't matter what we did. It kept seeming like we were super, we, we super, were super lean. We, were super we, lean. we weren't getting we fuel. Were so our qu the question is, if we're not getting fuel, I, guys, listen to me on this. You guys are all hearing. If it was a Japanese motorcycle, I have, I can't ever think of a time I've had to just scrap a car, okay? But as we took this apart, we found it just be a pain in the butt. Let's start this thing. Let's prove. We're just obviously using one of these carburetors, but it is hilarious. Fire in the hole. Clear? Clear. We should come up and take uh, uh, so, I'll hold your air filter on there. It's warmed up a little bit, right? Out. You guys check this out. Here's what I did. I grabbed my computer here and wanted to prove a point. Okay, with that factory uh, Taiwan carburetor or whatnot, check this out here. You even touch the throttle, nothing. I mean, we have had that carb apart on and off. I mean, so watch this. So here's where we choke it off, blocking the air off, richening it up, bike runs. So we know we're not getting enough fuel, right? Yep. Here's the thing. We're kind of screwing around here, trying to figure out what can we do. We went off our car shelf there, grabbed something and said, God, let's just quit fighting this thing. Sometimes it's a matter of, you know, are you going to put, you know, any more time? Where do you quit? At what point? This is just a unique one in the fact that this is just plain not working. This was fun. I think we should mount it up there like permanently just to have for the coolness like factor and whatnot. Man, I, I, that thing sounds really good though. It does, yeah. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. Making you progress. Feel like, yeah, you are making progress. You feel like you're learning the rich lean? I do. I'm learning the ins and outs way more than just guess, just guessing and, and changing things. Right, so you saw what we were doing in that in the first video was instead of taking a jet out, putting a larger jet or a smaller jet, sometimes it's just so much easier to go, I'm gonna take away the air. I'm gonna take away the air and I'm gonna see what happens. If it gets better, we're going in the right direction. If I take away the air and it gets worse, then I've got a problem. I wanna try and then add as much air as I can. If I take the filter off and I add a bunch of air and it gets better, then I know that it was too I need to make those, those adjustments. Does that make sense? Yep. Hey, rock on. This was stupid fun. I mean, this thing was such a hunk of junk, and uh, it is gaining a little bit of promise. <laughs> it's a sparkle in its mama's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Only yours. Yeah. yeah. Only yours. That was fun. Right. Keep wrenching. Hey, CJ, thanks for helping. No too. problem, guys. All right, fun.